Hi, in this video I continue with the beginner's guide in GIMP 2.8 and in this video I'll talk about the toolbox and also the dockable dialogues. Now I'm going to uh, go back to the multiple windows mode on purpose. A lot of the users when they first start using GIMP accidentally close their toolbox or their uh, this dialog here that contains other duck dialogs and then they're wondering where my left or right thing disappeared. It's very easy, you can just go to Windows, recently closed docs and you can select the toolbox with the two options and you see it appears again and also you can select from here the other doc with the other doc dialogs. Now sometimes something else may happen if you close your toolbox here and select a new toolbox you see what's going on here and uh, you will be wondering where are my tools options you can go to windows dockable dialogues and the first one is tool options and uh, if you are in this multiple windows mode this will appear as a floating dialog and you can grab it and dock it over here so this is how you bring out your tool options which you also may close accidentally by going here and choosing this option close this tab and they will disappear again so you need to go ahead select them from here and dock them another way you can close them is by accidentally dragging them out here and closing them so if you, that happens just uh, go here select the tools options and dock them over here now another thing that might happen is when you are in the single windows mode and I close my two options, go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Tools Options, and this will automatically send them over here. And you may be wondering where my two options go. It's sending the new docs always here when you're in the single Windows mode. So you grab this, place it over here, and you're good to go. Another thing that I want to show you is how you can hide your docs you can go to windows hide docs or use the tab key and it doesn't matter if you're in a single window mode or multiple window mode this will work something else from again windows menu dockable dialogues you can choose different dialogues that you use often for example if you use often the um, navigation here you can click on that and again in the single windows mode this will send it over here so you can grab it and maybe place it here or just leave it here it's up to you where exactly you want to uh, position this but if you're in the multiple windows mode and select the dockable dialog for example the histogram this will appear as a floating dialog so you have to grab it drag it and place it anywhere you want so these are some of the basics when it comes to toolbox tools options how to dock dialogues and uh, hide your docs and some problems that you might experience so that's it for this video i hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like it that's it for now bye